Hey, it's Chris from Outbound Terrain. Welcome to the channel. Welcome back. Thanks for coming back. And today, we're going to put on a new track bar. My old track bar shot. The bushings are shot. And I'm getting the wobble of death. Not a good thing, kids. Anyways, uh, so let's go over what I'm going to do today. We're going to change out a track bar. There's a lot of videos that show you how to do this. But uh, mine's extra special. <laughs> so anyways, uh, it's a sunny day in Northern California. Another random ass day I'm out here. I got to get this done because I go to work tomorrow. So uh, join me. We'll do this. It's really easy to do, um, and I'll kind of walk you through it. And we'll talk about the track bar and uh, what a track bar actually does. <laughs> Okay, first things first. This is my 2007 JK. I've had this uh, since 2011, I think. Um, got it when it was almost new. I'm the second owner. A great Jeep. I've done a lot of stuff to it. Replaced a lot of the stuff that went out um, in previous years. So, you know, you build on them as you go along. Um, and uh, there's always improvements and things you can do, like this track bar. This is a Metal Clucks front Duro track, solid chromoly track bar. Uh, it is adjustable. See right there. Um, it's got this gold zinc plated finish on it. Very nice. Love this track bar. The thing's heavy. It's solid. Um, this thing's going to last. Has the Duratrack bushings, um, which really get rid of a lot of the, uh, eliminates the squeaks and the kind of the clanks you feel in your, your front, uh, front end sometimes. Um, like I said, it's adjustable. Great bar. Looking forward to putting it in there. Uh, as far as Metal Cloak goes, a great company. I like, uh, and a higher end stuff and to me this is the best quality i could probably get for the jeep i think that's the part number 7016 for metal cloak i got this at the metal cloak headquarters in rancho cordova which isn't too far from my house so i did a wheel call and i went down there and i picked it up the same day great guys down there very helpful um great crew it's a cool place you check it out sometime next time you're in northern california in rancho cordova area stop by and say hi anyways um so let's get this thing on i talked about it a little bit um, very stout, it's heavy, um, and that's what you want. You want something that's going to be solid, not move around. I think uh, the bushings on my, oh, I have an old Rubicon Express track bar. It's, it's done, I think. I've replaced, uh, replaced bushings in it, and um, I just need something a little more beefier. So let's, uh, let's get into this. There you go. Nature's lawnmower. Trim my grass for me, free of charge. Okay, man, let's get this old thing off. Uh, this is uh, my old Rubicon Express track bar. That's where it attaches to the frame end there. And it attaches to the axle side over there. Now I have a uh, steering stabilizer bracket that brings the steering stabilizer over the bottom. And you can see the mounting holes for the old one down there right there so what we're gonna have to do and this is exclusive to metal cloak setup i'm gonna have to take uh this uh the bolt out and take the steering stabilizer off so i can pull this bolt out which is the track bar bolt no big deal so i'm gonna do that real quick well thinking i need a new compressor uh this thing's old i think we're done we're gonna upgrade maybe go to 220 get a bigger tank but she did her best. I had this thing for like 10 years. So, well, it wasn't bad for a while, but I don't know what's leaking. It's probably a gasket. Anyways, just more money, kids. Just more money. It's all about cash. Okay, you know, I just, uh, I put it in. I put the track bar in. Like I said, there's a lot of videos that show you how to put in a track bar. Uh... So I didn't want to kick a dead horse or any of that stuff. But anyways, uh, these are 21 millimeter bolts, just so you know. And torque these mamas down like ass tight, okay? So you don't want any play this way with this track bar. You're going to feel it in the front end. This thing's vital, the track bar. This is where your death wobble comes from 99% of the time. And I know all you guys know what death wobble is. Anyways, um, so bolted there. This is the frame side. attaches to your frame. And... Um, 
nice fit. I mean, everything just fit really nicely in there, clean it up a little bit. And so that side's done, torqued it down, and I'll show you the other side. Okay, guys, this is where the other side bolts up. This is the axle side. It's kind of hard to see. Bolts up right in here. That flag that I was talking about is in the back, back in here, um, this little box. Um, other than that, uh, that's the bolt right there. Still 21 millimeters. Torque that mama down pretty tight. Dry for a couple days and then go in and retighten it again. But anyways, um, tighten up the jam nut there. And uh, that's uh, it's kind of hard to see at this angle. Um, and you can see the track bar there all the way up to there and then back down so uh sorry about the quality of video here i'm laying down on my back upside down so it's kind of hard to see but that's where she mounts up okay just wanted to talk about a little comparison of the uh, track bar i just changed out this is an old uh, rubicon express track bar now on this one um on the frame side which attaches on the driver's side up there on the frame, it has a Heim joint. Now, compared to what the metal cloak has on both ends, this is a nice fat Dura, Duraflex seal. This is on both ends. So what you've got is, I think it's you get a weakness here. These get worn out. There's a nylon bushing in there. Um, they get worn out, and that's where you're going to get the def wobble because your track bar is not going to be uh, keeping your axle centered, and there's play in it somehow. Um, you know what I'm talking about. Anyways, and it gets loose and sloppy and, you know, you can feel it definitely in the front end when you hit a bump. Uh, just, it sucks. Uh, this one's pretty worn out. Like I said, it's a Heim joint. It's pretty much done. And this thing's pretty light. You now the metal cloak one is about three times heavier than this one is. And, uh, basically what a track bar does, this attaches to your, uh, driver's side, um, axle or frame side up in the frame and this side attaches to your axle you know your differential axle housing on the left and uh, what this does is keeps number one the axle center number two it keeps you going straight down the road um if you take it off and try to turn your wheel you know what i'm talking about without this thing on there so anyways also on the axle side I want to show you something. Uh, when you take the hardware out, it's an example. This is a flag nut. Okay, flag nut goes inside. There's a little, uh, like a little steel box. You can't get a wrench in to get a normal bolt out. So they put a flag bolt on there. So when you turn to tighten, it'll hit up against something on the inside, inside of the housing, and then you can tighten it up. So, anyways, just want to point that out and the differences. And like I said, this is an old Rubicon Express track bar. I've had it for about six years, and uh, I replaced this once. This is you know, about a year ago, this Heim joint. But just with wheeling and stuff, it beat the crap out of it. And it's worn out, and it's time to upgrade. So I'm pretty happy about the upgrade. So a little test drive with the new track bar. Man, I can really feel the difference. It's a lot tighter. The front end feels a lot better. So just a quick uh, little uh, test run with the uh, track bar, uh, the new track bar, the metal clunk uh, track bar. Uh, front end feels a lot tighter, no more death wobble. Uh, check all the components under there and everything's pretty tight. I torque down the bolts on the track bar ends and um, we're doing great. Pretty happy with it. I'm going to show you another thing on the way home here during this test drive. That's Folsom Lake over there. Uh, about five miles away. You can see how low it is with this drought. It's July of 2021, and uh, we're going to be hurting this summer. It's the lowest I've ever seen it. Well, that's it, guys. I'm going to wrap it up. It's a hot day. I'm sweating. I'm going to go inside, take a shower, get something to eat. And uh, I just wanted to go over uh, just a quick review of the new track bar I got, the Metal Cloak track bar. Uh, love it. It's beefy as hell. It's ready for action. And... Um, Put it on took it for the test drive as you know and it uh it's tight man feels good the front end is like there and you can really feel it you'll hear a, hit a bump or a pothole and you know my old one would go this one's like beautiful that's what i was looking for so uh all done i hope you guys have a good day like i said i didn't do the installation because i figured you know it's got two bolts and you pull them out you guys could figure that out and there's a lot of videos that show you how to do that don't want to waste your time. So anyways, um, that's going to be it. You take care. This is Chris from Outbound Terrain. 
And um, I'll see you again on the next video, guys. Take care. Watch out for the knuckleheads.